Pushing buttons is here. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> Pushing buttons says hello, friends. That's such great intro music you have. Thank it's really you. amped up. <laughs> that, that's that's what I was going for. That is what I was going for. Um. So, we also have Sneepy Egg Sauce in the chat. Good to see you. So, uh, tonight we have Christopher McGarvey joining us again. And we, Hello, of course, have Jeff Zanzibar. Say hi, Jeff. Hey, everybody. Hey, well, hey, pushing buttons and sneaky eggs. Yeah, <laughs> so far. <laughs> well, there are some lurkers. Come on, lurkers. Come say hi. There's seven people right now. We have an extra long um, news segment tonight because we have a few new things added to what we were going to show last week. Christopher McGarvey has two things to cover tonight. Jeff was supposed to have something to cover tonight, but I forgot exactly what I was covering, and, and you didn't answer, Jeff. <laughs> oh, uh, that was Laverne and Shirley, the, um, the yeah, final I, season that nobody remembers. Right. I didn't know exactly what I was covering with it, so I couldn't cover it because I was waiting found, on an answer. You found multiple things with it. Yes. Hey, Yellow Sun. Welcome. Yellow Sun's in, in the chat. Hey, Yellow Sun. And Bellator's here. And Bellator, welcome. You guys surprised we're on so early? Because I am. <laughs> hey, Splatter. Good to see you. <laughs> what? Hello, Party Pets. I thought that was funny. Oh, okay. All right. So um, I think enough for here. We got we got ten. They're they're slowly crawling in. We got Michael Fontaine. Michael Fontaine is in the chat. Michael Fontaine. Michael Fontaine. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, we're jumping right into it because we got a, a very big segment of the news tonight, guys. So uh, without further ado. Um, hey, Carrie Skates. What the heck happened to my intros? My intros got all scrambled. Oh, I'm second. Who jumped in? Hi, Carrie Skates. Welcome. All right. Here we go. Going in with Jeff's intro. Uh oh, I can't see it. All right, Jeff, it's all you. Let's go. All right, so we're starting with glitches here and glitches in the matrix. Um, some may be muted because of uh, music. Okay. And this one is hard to see. I know you can't zoom in on videos, but there is a bird flying in one space. <laughs> Can you see it? I can't see I, it. I can see it. Can you move the mouse to where the bird is so it's easier for them to see? It's right there, guys, the little black dot. So it, it flies in one spot for a few seconds, and then it just starts moving. It's just fluttering. Yep. And then it just goes. <laughs> this is the least impressive of the glitches, though. Just play this guy is very catchy, this is right? Crazy, but watch this shit like a robot. Oh, Ready, of course, Wait. there's a curse right in the very beginning what of the show. The fuck? Watch this play. Whoa, this guy is very catchy, right? But watch this shit like a robot. What? Ready, what the fuck? Just watch this play. This guy, so I don't know what was going on there. That doesn't make any sense. 
Why wouldn't you run for the end zone? I don't know. It was just weird looking, so I threw it in. But like I said, they get better as we go along. I guess they were one player short, so they had a robot play that day. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just had a glitch in the matrix. I see people talk about this on TikTok all the time. I've never experienced it, but I need to show you guys. So I was just Can putting something one white second? on the tabletop. So this person is Roxy J M U A. For those of you who don't know, M U A stands for makeup artist. She does makeup. She doesn't do glitches, glitches. She doesn't do any weird stuff. So I find her account even more credible because she's talking about how this has never happened to her before. And I believe her because she does makeup. So go on. Sorry. And I saw this and I thought, oh no, I've broken my phone case. Like, and I'll show you my phone case in a minute. So I picked it up. This is my phone case, guys. So where has this acrylic <laughs> butterfly wing part come from? Whoa. This is my only case. Is that not the weirdest thing ever? Like, I don't understand. What is happening? I know it seems really minor, but it's really, really weird. It's freaked me out. So I've just had Wow, that's crazy. What do you guys think? Like, I, 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 I don't understand how that could happen. <laughs> No, I've seen some, uh, you know, I've seen a couple of these like weird broken fragments and stuff that appear out of nowhere or whatever. Yeah, usually it, what I see is usually fingernails, like painted, like design painted fake nails. And they'll be like, I thought my nail came off, but they're all here. So I see that a lot, but that's easy to fake. You could just make a six, a, a, yeah. a six. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like two thumbs. So like, like, you know, for the same hand, the sixth one, you see what I'm saying? That's what I was trying to say. So like a, a second pinky finger or something, yeah. you know what I'm saying? No, I but this, show it again. Yeah, go ahead. A glitch in the matrix. I see people talk about this on TikTok. I've just, so I've just had a glitch in the matrix. I see people talk about this on TikTok all the time. I've never experienced it, but I need to show you guys. So I was just putting something away on the tabletop and I saw this and I thought, oh no, I've broken my phone case. Like, and I'll show you my phone case in a minute. So I picked it up. This is my phone case guys. So where has this acrylic <laughs> butterfly wing part come from? This is my only case. Is that not the weirdest thing ever? Like. I don't understand. What is happening? I know it seems really minor, but it's really, really weird. It's freaked me out. So, I yeah, that's just nuts to me. Yeah. Okay, this one. Did Forbidden someone explain this? Milk. Okay. Well. Now go ahead. He just says forbidden chocolate milk. You can go ahead. I feel like I've seen this. <sighs> Forbidden oh. chocolate milk. <laughs> I mean, it's dripping what? still. What's crazy is that drip. Yeah, the drip. What? Oh. He's, got, he's at a loss for words, too. Forbidden he just doesn't chocolate even speak. Milk. He just grunts. <laughs> His voice sounds sort of fake, though. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know what to make of this. I've seen, I have seen this exact one before. Is it still flowing and it just looks like it's not? It's, it's the voice that makes it hard for me to believe that that's not, it, it, you know, it sounds like he's faking it, but. But how? Sounds like bad acting. <laughs> yeah. It does, but how are they doing it? I don't know. I don't know. That's super weird. <laughs> I think that's the end of the glitches. I yeah. feel like that one's a hoax, that one there. 
Mm-hmm. If it is, who knows how they did it, though. Yeah, I have no video editing skills. I can't, I'm not good at judge of, of videos. <clears throat> I didn't either until I tried. Like I, I used to just be able to make slideshows. Like you can see the progression of my editing skills just by looking at my videos. <laughs> and there's not that many. Red Storm says, yep, I vote fake. Noise Guru, you asked to see it again. Do you think it's it's real or fake? And Noise Guru says, there is no try, only do. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. All right, so this, let me give you a little backstory. This woman is not in the Mandela Effect community either. Yet, she is experiencing an issue with time. Yeah, Jeff, I'm going to mute so that you guys can hear better. Today. Hey, what were you doing today, January 25th, 2024, at 7.11 a.m. Central Standard Time? I asked because I, I think time jumped. I looked at the clock on my microwave in my kitchen. It's at 7.10. I walked out to the car, looked at my phone. It said 7.11 a.m. And then in a split second, I watched it change to 7.17 a.m. I froze and I looked over at my daughter who's sitting right next to me. And she said, mom, did you see that? And I, I said, yeah, what did you see? She said, mom, we lost six minutes. We're going to be late. I was like, well, that's okay. That doesn't matter. I'm more worried about the fact that, I, hey, what were you doing today? Off there. January 20th. I, I guess she was going to say, I'm more concerned about the fact that we lost six minutes. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys you think about that one? I feel like it's <laughs> happened to me before. You said it's happened to you before? Yeah. Not not where I actually saw like something similar to what she saw, but where it felt like that happened to me. Like I checked the time and it seemed like it it went faster than it should have. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah. I feel I like it's happened to me before. I will tell you a weird experience I had live on air. So I forget if it was 2019 to 2020 or if it was 2020 to 2021. But New Year's Eve 2019 or 2020, um, I was on Scar Performance and it was midnight. We were already saying, like, Happy New Year and everything. And I said to everyone, I need to go wish Joey a Happy New Year in the living room. And I go out there. And the live feed for whatever channel he was watching, ABC, whatever, wherever, wherever Dick Clark's is on. There was still, they, were, they, were, they still had not started the countdown. It was still in the minute <laughs> before. And I'm like, how is this possible if it's a live feed? I mean, I get there can be delays, but they're doing this live because it's midnight for everyone. And it's always been that way. Like, it's always been midnight when they say it's midnight. And then we hear the fireworks go off outside. So the feed I was watching on Scarab Performance said it was midnight here. But then when I went out there, it was not midnight yet. So that was really weird. Yeah, that is weird. Really weird. But, of course, that's gone because that was his old channel, so there's no way to even see it. That's super weird. That You had your own gravity uh, well there. <laughs> yeah. Different time sphere. 
that's one of my theories why I see so many Mandela effects is because, you know, the Philadelphia experiment happened less than a mile from my house. <laughs> oh, do you believe in that? Do you believe that thing is that the, the, they teleported the boat? I don't know. But if something did happen there, it is less than a mile from my house. So, <laughs> <laughs> wow. like I drive past the uh, place where the boat was every time I go to my doctor's office. So, wow. I don't drive past there. Now I take a shuttle, but same difference. The point is, that would be my theory. Um, so with see. this lady, I got to say, I got to say, what what where, what where was everyone else doing at this time? I kind of like want to search the web because was everyone else recording her in a glitch in the Matrix video where she and her daughter just frozen <laughs> for six minutes? You, you know? know what? That's crazy. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Because <laughs> you always see those videos of people just frozen in place. <laughs> yeah. And so they're maybe just that's frozen her. for se for six minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be nuts. I do want to scroll back up in the chat before I lose it. Noise Guru says the butterfly. I believe someone else broke a second one, and the the uh, oil was just at at a saturation flow, making it appear to have stopped. And uh, I think, I think, hey, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3 is here. Hey, Super Mario Brothers. Time is not a constant. Time is, no, you know what, for all, all the things they say is a human construct, time is a human construct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, guys. So Sandy, I can only unfortunately hang out for about fifteen minutes, and I gotta go. Can or can we go to the the material that, yes. that after is this folder? After this folder, we'll go to your stuff, and then we'll come back to this. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate that. No I wish problem. I could stay. I, I'd stay up all night normally, but I gotta gotta go to church early. We got the bishop coming tomorrow. Oh yeah, you gotta get to bed. Yeah. All right. So uh, really quickly. Um, Jeff, you have to read top, like just the title and then, you know. So pyramids before and after then versus now. Paraglider discovery at the pyramid of Giza, Giza, whatever that says. Mm -hmm. This video first showed up on the r slash Egypt Reddit two years ago. Yes or no. Do you remember it being discovered? that hieroglyphs were inscribed on top of the pyramid and survived all this time. <laughs> so in the chat, yes or no, do you ever remember hearing that hieroglyphs were found on the top of the pyramids? And then if yes, give me a reason why you think it would survive the elements all this time. Yeah, especially if you believe Graham Hancock and that this that the pyramids are actually from like twelve thousand plus years ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> Down syndrome reality. Yep. Welcome. I've never heard of hieroglyphs on the outside. That seems crazy. And and from what I've heard, the pyramids originally were covered in uh, uh there was a smooth like white coating on the outside that's come off. Now it's gold. There's a, it was gold. Uh, it was, uh, the top was was go covered in gold now. Well, yeah, that 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 probably is true. That the very top cone was was gold, but they all had a some sort of smooth white. I forget what material it was made of, but they had a a coating that's no longer on them anymore. Mm -hmm. And so all it right, feels so like it would be covered up. Pushing button says no. Sneepy egg sauce says no. Um, that's all the answers I got. I'm no uh, on this. Yes for Down syndrome reality. Is there a reason why you're making fun of my friend? Curious here. I believe in a letting people speak their mind. Uh, 
Um, we can go on so you guys can see this because I don't remember it. Jeff, there you go. So here they are uh, literally flying over it. And I, oh. I tried to make it as big as possible because I knew this was going to be small on the screen. But again, you can go to my Flickr account and look at these close up. Or you can go to the channel, which I just had on the screen, and watch the video for yourself. But the whole top is covered in hieroglyph. How did it survive? With sandstorms, wind, even rain. What pyramid is that? It looks really steep. Um, I don't know. Oh, the pyramids aren't aren't pyramids anymore. They're now shaped like a four point star. Like there's an indent in each wall. Yeah, the Great and, Pyramid has eight sides. Yeah, it's it's crazy. But it's like a star because it. it you know, it's like a point, and then it goes in a little bit, and then back mm -hmm. out to another point, mm -hmm. instead of being flat like it used to be. Yeah, guys, I can't do anything from um, StreamYard, so. Sandy, did you block that guy? I, I can't do anything from StreamYard. That's why I have wrenches, guys. There's wrenches in the chat. I can't do nothing. All right. So we can go on to uh, Flickr really quick. We're going to go to, um, I believe I put his first, the first two folders, because I knew he had to go. Whoa. Oh, look, there's another um, fake in the chat. Guys, I need my wrenches to do some work here. I can't do it from StreamYard. Looks like somebody did it. No, there's another one with a rainbow background. Now it's Dose of Reality backup channel. Yeah, I see that. <clears throat> All I can do is put them in a timeout. All right, Jeff, I still see the, uh, that, yeah, okay. Thank you, pushing. <clears throat> Jeff, it's still not sharing. I didn't do it yet. Hold on. Oh, okay. <clears throat> He's got 10 minutes to get through two folders. Oh, you missed the, the, the jingle all the way one. Is that first? I wanted, yeah, I wanted to do jingle all the way first because the more people in here, the better for the next one. Well, that, that didn't say his name on it. Oh, wait. It, yes, it did. I'm just not seeing it. Here we go. Gotta wake up. So Jingle All the Way is one of my favorite yeah. Christmas movies and I, I saw it in theaters in junior high with my best friend and I've been quoting its dumb lines forever and my wife and I were watching it this year. She got into it. Um, Don't tell them the line. I, yeah, I won't them. tell them the line. I'll just okay. say that um, I, I made my wife a fan of it a year or two ago and it's become a Christmas tradition that we watch every year and we started quoting some of the lines to each other and we noticed a change together and she's not really a Mandela believer in fact the pointing out the change provoked a fight <laughs> um the night it came up so I'm curious yeah I'm, I'm excited to see what else you added to this uh uh Sandy thanks for putting this together all right so um should I go ahead and read these um Yes, 
go right ahead. And I just found a way to ban people in StreamYard. There was another one, right? Yep. Okay, so normally I would save this for the Mandela Mandela Days show this year, but we are having a bit of a hard time finding residue. My hope is we can find more between now and then. So here's a Christmas quote that has been Mandela for Christopher. And yeah, I, I know this, this movie isn't maybe super familiar for everybody, so I'm hoping there's some other people out there that remember this one. Um, if, if you haven't seen it, it's extremely funny. This is my favorite holiday movie, so I recommend it. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is trying to find a the hot selling toy for his kid that and he's put it off until Christmas Eve and it's got Sinbad so it's perfect for the Mandela community. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go ahead, Jeff. Keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. Enough. Play that again. It keep kind your of promises if you want to keep your friends. Enough. It's funny, it cuts it off there. So, uh, keep your promises. It's missing the first word. He, I don't know how that got cut short, but he, he, no, I did it on reality. purpose. I oh, did it you on did purpose. that. Okay. Yes, sorry. We got to so read the thing. Hear here. It. Yeah. You read it. Right. Okay. Sorry. I'm, what a it's rookie. Okay. Rookie mistakes. Okay. Yeah. So, complete the beginning of the quote. If anyone knows this movie, what word or words do you recall before this sentence? Blank. Keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. <laughs> but play it again because I don't think that's what he says. I want to hear it again. Play it again. If you want to keep your friends. Again. Enough. Keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. Enough. If it, I'm hearing if is or I'm hearing uh, the if word is messed up. Not for um, me. I hear if, but I hear if is. Like if is. Weird. I don't know. Sounds weird to me. Can you play it one more time? Keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, just, that's just, just the way kids talk. Yeah, maybe it's the promises going into the F. If. Yeah. If. By the way, that's Anakin Skywalker in, in uh, you know, the Star Wars prequel. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is before that role. I don't, think, I don't think I ever saw this movie. Red Storm says, you must keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. And you know what? I want to look for residue of that because I think a lot of people would remember that. You must keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. That works and he's, too. He's quoting a superhero show that he watches. If you haven't seen this movie, he, he watches Turbo Man. It's like this, you know, kids Superman show. And, uh, and he gives the the you know superhero gives advice, and this is one of his pieces of advice for kids. Welcome, Smith. We've got a noise guru song in the chat. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Sandy, did I'm you get my text the other day about the song? I did, but I had a migraine at the time. I, I just didn't even, I saw it and I just laid it back down. Okay, I'm curious how many people, I'm sorry, I'm buttoning. It's okay. I'm, I'm curious how many people in the chat even know this movie, have seen this movie, you know? <laughs> oh, it's an EP, even better. Thanks. I mean, I know this movie. I definitely know the movie. I just, I'm not, I'm not one to really know quotes. Mm-hmm. Like well, this I, there's the, some quotes that stand out, but not a, not I'm not like you know one of those people who knows all the quotes to all the movies, you know. Yeah, yeah. For whatever reason, this is the one that stood out to me and my wife because he says it in this goofy voice. Uh, we thought it was really hilarious. So, are we ready to advance to the next slide? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might as well because we you're running out of time. You have four yeah. minutes. Both, both me and my wife remember. You have to keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. Uh, but. <laughs> Always keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. Always keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. He's saying yeah, promises. No. That's what it is. Always keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. 
<laughs> That's why it sounds weird. Okay. Hey, Preliminal. Hey, Preliminal. Yes, uh, Super Mario Brothers, that's in this presentation. Hey, Ryu. That I'm actually looking. sounds about right to Red Storm. <clears throat> yeah, it always you, does not sound right to me. It's better. It's better English as a, a you know as as a, a writer uh, myself. Parallelism is is something that helps make points and so you always or excuse me you have to keep your promises if you want to keep your friends is a better point and the, i'm gonna sandy i realized there's one more layer to this that i didn't realize when we first talked about it um i think he he used to deliver this with a more kind of comical deeper voice like he's trying to imitate a superhero it's kind of a weaker delivery now too yeah like when i the, when you talk when you told me about it, and even just now when you did it, I'm thinking that doesn't sound really like what he's saying. Because <laughs> he he's trying to imitate Turbo Man here, and we thought it was so hilarious. So we kept quoting it back and forth to each other. You have to keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. Like it used to be a little more exaggerated. I feel like so. That's pro that probably definitely yeah. also part of it. And it doesn't the land real as Brian hard. Stavely is in the chat. Hi, Brian. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. Hello from North yeah, we, Carolina. <laughs> we got three of them tonight, all gone. <laughs> and Ryu's in the chat and Preliminal. Welcome, guys. All right, we can go yeah. on because we do have some residue. And he oh, still has a whole I'm presentation to, to do. Yeah, that's something we see a lot. It, it makes it less interesting when it changes it. Right. Oh, I must have missed one. Pushing button says there was four of them. <laughs> uh, so here's some people quoting the line on Reddit and uh, Twitter. Twitter. So you found the Twitter one. Yes. Twitter yeah. ones. The two, the two, two, two Twitter two. ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does the current reality match your memory or do you remember it like they do? There are some people on Reddit and X, the platform formerly known as Twitter, who remember it exactly like they do. Yeah, that would flow better. That would make more sense. It's it's more it, yeah, it's more balanced. Yeah, and he just doesn't deliver it as exciting. He seems kind of bored now. <laughs> kind of reminds me of uh, "I'll Be Back" changing in Terminator. Yes, yeah, "I'll Be Back" instead of "I'll Be Back." Yeah, it's so really, he fixed his. <laughs> he didn't say Bach. No. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know that one. No, he just That's says I'll be one. back, like anyone would say it. Come on, um, it's ridiculous now. We do have to move on because he. I'm supposed to kick him out right now. Well, he let me finish my presentation. I'll go ahead and do the two things. We'll be okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, while there isn't tons of residue, just the fact that some people recall the quote like they do makes me believe that this could be a Mandela effect. And I'm not 100% sure on this one, but man, we were really invested in this line. Even my wife. So my wife is not totally on board with Mandela at all. In fact, it's, we've had some fights. Um, and we were sitting down to watch a Christmas movie and this came up and she asked me, wait, wasn't it? You have to keep your promises if you want to keep your friends. We've been quoting it that way for the last two years. And I was like, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> like, you see, it doesn't feel good, does it? <laughs> and then the thing that was crazy is right after this scene, um, it, it goes into this, uh, he's driving around montage trying to find, and it plays, I'll be home for Christmas. It is is like the song over the next scene, and so it starts going. I'll be home for Christmas, and I paused it, and I said, "It's a double whammy." Tell me the next line, and she goes, "I'm not. I don't know. You can count on me." And I'm like, "Yeah, exactly." But listen to this, and it sings, "You can plan on me." And I was like, "Wow, we just I just showed her the Mandela effect. <laughs> she, we just got hit by it, and she totally experienced it." That change drives me crazy. Yeah, no, it's it. Nobody it's says a, you can plan on me. Come on, not a good line. It feels it sounds no. creepy. Mm -hmm. 
the whole, could, and then the, yeah, the next know. one bothers me too. The whole the whole beginning bothers me because it was presence under the tree, not on. Yeah, presence. Every time I hear it, I picture sense. someone sticking a bicycle on a tree. <laughs> it just looks so stupid in my head. <laughs> All right, are we moving on? We is that the end of this this one? Nope, nope. There's more. Oh, what else did you find? It's oh no, the logo, and I don't. It's the logo part. Well, logo yeah. is merging. I also oh. want to point out, but you want to do, go ahead. No, you do it. No. It's okay. okay. I also want to point out this movie has four logos. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hadn't noticed that. That alone is weird, but the main logo looks nothing like the title credits and it's completely merged. Yeah. What, what's with the star Wars version? <laughs> I guess that's the, that's the turbo man. Um, the top right there is is like the Turbo Man font. That's probably why they did that. It's a superhero, but yeah, there's too many logos. <laughs> and that is not my history. Again, for those of you who don't know, I have a degree in 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 graphic design, and that was not part of my path. You want to also look at and see. Hmm? Look at the bottom left. Is that even Schwarzenegger? I mean, who is that guy? I know it does look weird. I, you know what it is? I think they, it is him. He's but skinny. I think they, I, that's what I was going to say. I think they photoshopped him so much that it doesn't look like him anymore. Hey, Mustard Seed of Faith, and welcome, you tell me. Hey, Mustard Seed of Faith. Oh, we can go on because he's got to go. Got to keep it moving. Jingle all the way to. And I'm sure this is not a Mandela, just something I missed. But did you know there was a sequel? No way! No way! There's a sequel? There is a sequel. No! And that's what Super Mario Brothers was talking about in the chat. I've never heard what? of it. I love Jingle All The Way. I've never heard of this. Are you me? kidding me? <laughs> Marry the Cable Guy? Really? Was this straight to VHS or something? <laughs> I do not know. I need to see that immediately. That's well, maybe, wow. maybe Super Mario Brothers in the chat knows. Super Mario, can you do you know if this was straight to DVD? Because I've never heard of it. <laughs> this is blowing my mind. Yeah, well, it's blowing Carrie Skate's mind and Ryu's mind and direct to DVD. Thank you very much, Mario. Even if it was straight to DVD, I think I would have seen that. I'm going to see this. So it's like if if Mandela wants to give me a gift of Jingle All the Way too, I will be. This is. Christmas came twice a year. <laughs> I'm totally watching this tomorrow. <laughs> watch it! Wow! Watch it ruin your memories of Jingle All the Way. It's horrible. <laughs> so I'm sure it's horrible. That's why it's great. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not a meme. I have an actual picture of a DVD, Ryo. Actual picture of a DVD. All right. I hope this exists. On. I want this to exist. <laughs> Short story, right. Jingle. Okay. What do you think? Do you share my memory or do you remember it as always keep your promises if you want to keep your friends? It, let us know in the comments below and thank you to me <laughs> for sharing my find. <laughs> this is you the only two. thing that I might have discovered myself. I've discovered maybe two Mandela effects. that other That's not have. true. The next one too and the next one's huge for me now that I've seen it. I'm really right. excited to hear what people think of this uh, next mm -hmm. one. We have a question in the chat from Carrie State Skates. How many kickboxer movies do you guys remember? I know there was at least two. Two or for three. Me. I remember there being a stupid one that no one wanted to see. To me, they're all stupid. <laughs> Brian says we have the Mandela burglar and his arch nemesis <laughs> Mandela Claus. Who brings us new movies and I can't say it on air, but you can read it. Wow. <laughs> Maybe three says pushing, two for sure. It's not a good sequel to Super Mario. Just a warning <laughs> on Jingle All the Way too. I love bad, bad movies though. I'm a Mr. Science Theater guy. <laughs> Carrie says I remember two, but there's eight now. There's about eight. Get out of here. Stop it. <laughs> no way. 
Brian, if you're bored, you're welcome to jump in. Like, really, you can always jump in. Shout out to Brian. He doesn't even know this yet. We've never met, but Brian, you're responsible for um, for my Vandela awakening. So I'm I'm super thrilled that you're here. <laughs> Aww. Um, good work, sir. All right. You're Sometimes lying. we see something so much that we become blind to a Mandela effect. We just accept the current reality as that is how it's always been. I believe this is one of those cases. A logo that we have covered before due to merging has been mandela mm -hmm. Brian says, thanks, Chris. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Uh, keep, you're doing the Lord's work. All right. Like I said, we have covered the AAA logo in the past. Every one of their logos are merged and or overlapping in some way. But Christopher noticed something that I couldn't even imagine until I recreated the logo for him. And now I can't believe how wrong it was. That is true. I, I honestly could not even understand what he was saying. I thought it looked fine. And then I made the logo like he told me to make it. And I was like, oh my God. It was like that. So <laughs> we're going to get to the options. Hey, oh, I almost said hi to you, Jeff, in the chat. <laughs> hey, JC Goof, how are you tonight? <laughs> you have to go on to the next slide. Those almost look like mountain peaks there. Okay, here we go. There are four options to choose from two with the swoop open, two with the swoop closed. Which AAA logo best matches your memory? One, two, three, or four. And, uh, you know, for extra credit, can you guess which one is the current reality? <laughs> oh, they'll see it on the next slide if they can't. But that'll get confusing. I won't know which ones they're answering. Yeah, sorry. I'm Just answer Sandy's question. She's the pro here. So which one best <laughs> matches your memory? which one they remember. <laughs> Brian, it's okay. If you want to jump in later and we're still here, you're welcome to just, just say link and I'll send it to you. All right, guys, what do you remember? Pushing buttons, guess is number three. Were you, Jeff, you haven't seen this. Which one do you remember? I'm trying to figure that out right now. Okay, well, Noise Guru says one. And Red Storm says three. Ryu, I know it's an American company. It's okay. We understand. But Ryu, I would like to know which one you think looks best to you. Yeah, that's a good question, too. Like, you tell me, is, says none. Seems like the best design. I'm going to say three. My chat just jumped. So three for Jeff. All the spaces were the same shape. What does that mean? The spacing. Red Storm remembers number three. Oh, okay. Anyone else? I mean, there's 21 of you listening. And like I said, Ryu, if you want to just tell me which one looks best to you, that would be fine. Ryu says three looks best. Not familiar with this one. That's okay, Carrie. If you're not, guys, if you're not familiar with it, just tell me which one looks best to you. Sneepy Egg Sauce says three, I think. Three looks okay, says Ryu. <laughs> All right, we can go on. Did Brian leave? I'm curious. I'm so curious what his thoughts are on this one. All right. So he said he was busy right now. He might jump in later. Okay. I, I really want to know about his thoughts on, on this AAA logo. Uh, oh, wait, really quick pre start. JRG Mighty, welcome. Um, there was a logo without the rings. Yeah, so I remember from the logo history, I think this started in the 90s that they had the they added the rings in in 
early or mid 90s, sometime in the 90s. And before that, no rings. Mm -hmm. so, so that would be a valid no memory. You're not yeah, just be remembering a, that. That'd be a okay. valid memory, yeah. So Christopher and I both remember number three. He remembered the swoop being open, but not below the logo. And once I saw what he was seeing, once I created the logo for him, I instantly knew he was correct. So that is number three. That is what we remember. That is what I made. I don't want. Yeah, this is the current reality. After seeing number three, the current reality logo, number one, looks so wrong. Christopher described it as looking like ant pinchers. Yeah, mandibles. <laughs> and I agree, it does. The swoop looks completely out of place, sitting away from the main logo. Does this look right to you? And what is that supposed to me, be? <laughs> you tell me, says Saturn worship. I, I agree. I get to that in the presentation. I agree. Yeah, the swoop says Red Storm. Wow. That is 100% a change. Uh, no I saw word. this. I saw this during my awakening week. I was driving around town, and there's a AAA office. Uh, and I was like, what, what is that? <laughs> I mean, why would you make this thing? What is yeah. that supposed to be? It looks ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's got this missing gap, and you're just like, well, that gap would fit just right around perfectly if you slid it up into the left. It just looks like it's right. meant to, <laughs> you know? It was three. 100% it was three. This is crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, so what is this thing? What is it? What, why would you do that? What Red is that? Storm says totally I, wrong. I would like to hear their ex explanation of, of the sim symbolism of their logo currently. Like, yeah. someone explain what this is supposed to be and why you would do that. The <laughs> only thing I can think of is that, like you said, um, they're there at all times, like anywhere you are, or they're doing donuts. But again, why would there only be one instead of two for wheels, you know? I don't know. But uh, JRG Mighty says that looks stupid. It yeah. does. <laughs> Red Storm says it's totally wrong, and I have been a AAA member for over 40 years. I was a AAA member, and I remember three. Yeah, I just knew this looked wrong. I, I wasn't totally sure if I had the right memory. It just seems so wrong. Yeah. I am sure you had the right memory, because now Andy, this looks so wrong to me. You yeah. moved it over. It looks a lot better. It's better designed, for sure. <laughs> All right. Yes. Tina agrees. She says it's wrong, too. <laughs> yep. Good. All right, we can go on because it, it's now quarter after clock one. Out three, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, there are other completely unrelated AAA logos. So these are not the same company, right, Sandy? These are correct. Yeah. Not, not the same. Um, but that use the same design element in their own way. I find it interesting that they are all similar to our memory of the AAA logo instead of the current reality version. So while not direct residue, it does show design principle consistency. That is yes. true. Yeah. And does residue for this exist? I tried finding it. I, yeah. I have not. But we're yeah. going to get to the Saturn thing that, okay. that uh, you tell me was speaking about a few minutes ago. I'm, so this is new to me. I don't know about this, so I'm interested to learn. Okay. Um, the sad, the flat peach, a.k.a. the donut or Saturn peach, is new to me. The logo also follows a pattern we see in the Mandela Effect community, Saturn. We have seen many logos and Mandela Effects that have Saturn imagery, like Superman's job, the Daily Planet, slash Daily Planet. Right. Or Mandela's that involve the Saturn name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Saturn pops up in a lot of Mandela effects in some way or another. Side note, 1997 to now. Since we previously had covered the AAA logo, a few more logos in the company history have been added. Whether they are new to this timeline or were just logos lost to time and recently found, they have some Mandela features that should be noted. So here's the one without the swoop for you guys. Push in and Red Storm and Noise Guru, I think, doesn't remember the swoop, but that. 
But first, for those of you seeing this, for you uh, first seeing this, I will recap what we have already covered. The 1922 to 1983 or 1997, because there are conflicting reports, logo, are at least legible A's. But logo oh, is okay. still the logo is still merged at the points marked, which seems unlikely for 1922. Which I did not mark, but you can see every corner is touching one another. So yeah. the A on the left is touching the ring and the A in the middle. The A in the middle is touching the two A's and the ring and the other A, so on and so forth. They're all touching everything. Okay. Jeff, you can uh, go ahead. Jeff? There he is. The logo most of us recall is this one. The A's are so merged that they look like fours sharing the feet of the A's with each other. No, they do kind of look like fours. I can see it suddenly four, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Red Storm just says, yep. And I wonder if 444 has significance in, in what do you call the occult numbering? Uh, I hope not, because it has significance uh, to me. Uh, I, I've never heard of it, but there's, you know, you can calculate meanings from numbers with, um, I forget what that's called. There's a word for that. But anyway, go ahead. I was born at 444 a.m. Oh. <laughs> and then my birthday is 816, so all my numbers are, even 76, are divisible by four. Okay, go ahead, Jeff. What was that? That is the logo I've never seen before. 1906 to 1915. Uh, now for the past logos, the new ones that weren't available when we looked before. The first known logo is three A's in between two wheels. The A's on the sides mirror one another and have a normal crossbar. The middle A, though, has that V crossbar. It looks a little Masonic. And the left A is merged with the border. Just yeah, the left A, not the right A. <laughs> this design looks kind of cult, cryptic. I, this totally looks esoteric to me, you know, uh, even a little Nazi kind of like styling. Hold on. We have a birthday in the chat. Happy birthday to Carrie Skate. It is April 7th here. So happy birthday. You guys aren't going to say happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Um, AAA wasn't auto insurance. The auto insurance por portion is new, like in the last 10 or 20 years or something. AAA was roadside assistance only at the time. Right. All right, 1915 to 22. The other logo that is new is almost the same, but this time the mirrored A's are more of a script font. We also see the crossbar breaking through the A's on opposite sides and all of the A's overlap or merge with part of the design. Also, mm -hmm. I think I see a Masonic, um, what's that called? Like the, the protractor that underneath the A, do you see it? Do you see that? Oh yeah. It? In the middle. Yeah. The, the yeah protractor and, and compass. You can kind of see them both. If you look at the top and bottom, the top. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I did not know there was roadside assistance in 1906 either, Noise Guru. That's why I'm putting these logos in here. <laughs> <laughs> they, got, they got right on it from the beginning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Welcome, Barbara. Jehovah's Daughter Barbara's in the chat. Go ahead, Jeff. Again, we can't say these logos are Mandela for sure but they seem to follow the same patterns we see over and over again with confirmed Mandela logos. I agree with that, as far as I know. I'm still new to this, guys. I'm learning. 
is the AAA logo design a Mandela effect for you? Do you remember the A's merging like they are now? Let us know what you remember in the comments below. And a very special thank you to Christopher for sharing his find. Yeah, it just looks so wrong. The, that weird <laughs> Saturn oh, rings that are not, and, uh, you know, not not around orbiting it. Uh, it seems like the message should be sort of like, anywhere you go, we've got you covered. We're all around you, you know, if you need help. I, I uh, agree. So why would it reach out and... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to look into the Saturn thing. Uh, I mean, Saturn is one of the gods. and uh, That has been a, like I said, there's there's been a lot of Saturn references in the Mandela effect. A lot of things that are related to it. Um, Interesting. Uh, let's see. Um, before I kick you out, I just want to make an announcement, um, guys. Uh, things are still not good with the, the eviction thing. Joey, Joey has put in, I counted today, like 70 applications on Glassdoor. He's applying everywhere, like 7-Eleven, Aldi, the, the grocery store, not the car dealership. <laughs> um, AutoZone, like all these places. And he's only gotten like three follow-ups and they did not give him a position. So please send prayers if you find something soon, because we are not going to make it until he finds another job. But the, the GoFundMe is still active. The landlord's already bothering us again because, you know, the new month hit. And it's just bad. So if you can, please share that GoFundMe. It's, it's still up. It's, it's still active. And we still need help until he gets this job, wherever this job is. And like I said, please send prayers that you find something soon. Um, and that's it. I just want to say that really quick before we get back to the news segment. And before we say, thank you for being here tonight, Christopher. I'm kicking you out. Yeah, it was really my pleasure. Thank you for uh, incorporating, um, you know, something. I'm, I'm happy to contribute something to this community. I was glad I actually had something to offer. So um, thanks for all the work you do. Um, definitely prayers your way. I got to go to bed tonight. Thanks everyone for allowing me to, to share this with you. And we're grateful that you shared it with us and that yeah. you were here and we're going to be doing an interview show with Christopher really soon. It's going to be an early show, maybe on Brian, you know, maybe, maybe, I don't know if you're free this Friday, Christopher, Friday night, but like we do it like, um, like a 10 o'clock show Eastern. Oh, I didn't even know about that. Yeah, every two weeks I do a show with, with Brian McFarlane. We stream on both channels. So if you want to do the interview show then, okay. it'll be on both channels and it's much earlier. So you don't yeah, have to worry should, about running. We should do an interview on a Friday like that. It would be good, yeah. Okay. Um, Ryu says, thank you, Christopher. Bushin says, good night, Christopher. Thanks, thank guys. you for the prayer, Super Mario. Thank you from Carrie Skates. Gracias, to be specific. I'm looking forward to sharing my weird uh, awakening story. I'm sure everyone has, you know, has one. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it, everyone's is interesting and unique, and that's why I, I'm open to interviewing anyone who's willing to do it. I do want to say, you tell me, very true, but you need a car. We don't own a car, otherwise. That would just be that we just do it because you don't have to apply. You just do it, you know, but you need yeah. a car to do that or at least a bicycle. We don't have either one. Um, all right. Well, I don't want to get Christopher in trouble again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks so much. It's, it's been a real pleasure. God bless everybody. Have a good night. I'll say good night. Good night, Christopher. Good night, Christopher. Thanks. Wish for I could stay us. next time. I know. Next time. All right. So Christopher's gone. Do we, do we need to do the intro again, chat, or can we just jump right back into the news? Let's just jump right back in. Let's just jump right back into the news. And I have a premiere of a song tonight as well for our intermission. Awesome. You tell me, you want to, we'll do the intermission after the news because there's still a lot. Look at the list I sent you. There's some things I want you to get to before you get to the flicker. Okay. Stuff. 
there's a couple of links in there. Because the UFO stuff I want to save for last because it's kind of amazing. All right. So do you want me to go on from where I was? Um, yes, but do go, go to the notes, the links in the notes first. I sent you a messenger. Okay. Hold before on. you get to the UFO folder is what I'm trying to say. Jump, jump right into it. I got gotcha. you. So I got a Mandela Effect song tonight. I know, I'm excited to hear it. Jeff did a Mandela Effect song, everyone. Uh, but everyone will have to excuse the singing. I'm no Aerosmith. <laughs> and that's the hint. Okay. <laughs> I would bet that most people are, are not, no Aerosmith, no Steven Tyler. Oh, I know they know him, but I'm saying I'm no Steven Tyler. So excuse the singing when you hear it, but the words are good. The lyrics are good, I think. I think I did an okay job on it. We'll find out. We do too, Jehovah's daughter Barbara. We do too. And our goal is to share it as much as possible. Christian says, that's not necessarily a bad thing, Jeff. That's close. <laughs> Whoa. What? How the hell did he know that? Did you upload it to your channel? I did, but it's not uploaded yet. <laughs> That's an awesome guess right there. That is a super sink. That gets a star. <laughs> and I have to give I have to give credit to Brian Stavely for coming up with the song. And then I decided to write it. And there's a few lines that he wrote as well. So should be interesting. Now let me see if I could get this going here. Noise Guru says, sorry, <laughs> I'm psychic. <laughs> that was an amazing guess. Okay. This is not what you're showing yet. No? What am I showing? I, I, you're going to Messenger. To the notes that I wrote. There's oh, that's right. In there. Yes. Because there's things they need to see there first before we get to that folder. Guys, I think I found possibly two new types of UFOs. Possibly. I don't know every UFO that's out there. But I may have found two new types of UFOs. At least they're brand new to me. Which one do I click on first? Just start from the top and go down, whatever you didn't do. The airplane. Like it should say like UFOs and flicker at the bottom. That, uh, that's because it's last. All right, so, so anything yeah. above that you haven't covered. Airplane, Navy... Yep, that would be the first one. Okay. That probably maybe might be in the folder. If it is, we'll just skip it in the folder. Okay. Oh, wait, don't show this one, actually. Why? We're not going to show that one. Go to the next one. I have a reason. That's man's excuse number one. So before we do the UFOs, I'm going to have you show it uh, so it's in order and explain that this will be man's excuse number one. I'll tell you when to pull it up. So, which one do I go to? Uh, I can't look at my notes. Hold on. I'll go to Messenger.
Okay, so... Um, these might be in here. Okay, so the the one in the ocean, in the ocean, it says in ocean. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then Jerusalem, and then we'll go to the folder. Okay, I think I have that one up right now. Okie dokie. Hey, Jeff. All right. Physicist who found spherical meteor fragments claims they may come from an alien spaceship. Here's what to make of it. That was a picture of it. You just went by. It was? Oh. Yeah, that, that round thing. So they found That's this fragment in the Pacific Ocean? And it's rainbow. I just won't okay. point that out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and pushing buttons. Um, if you want to send that to me on Messenger, we will definitely show that. Pushing buttons says, I got a UFO on video briefly like three or four nights ago. So basically, um, they're finding these spheres in the ocean and they're claiming it, it came from a UFO. But if you didn't read it, just go on to the Jerusalem one. No rush pushing. We could always show it next week, too, if you just want to relax right now. Okay. All right. UFOs in Jerusalem. Here we go. New video this morning that some say may be proof we're not alone in the universe. A UFO in the form of a bright light is seen descending over the dome of the rock in Jerusalem. The video is said to be taken over the weekend. Uh, then suddenly the light shoots up into the sky. Here you see it. Another video from a different angle uh, appears to show the light doing the same thing. Those clips have gone viral now. Oh, I think it's already here, Ryu. Ryu says... Fake alien invasion narrative is coming soon. I think it's already here. Like I said, I have a new type of UFO to show you. I think it's already here. All right, so now we're going to go to the UFO folder. And you're going to go in order from left to right. All right. In the folder. Not, top, not bottom to top. Top to bottom, left to right. I think the first one has like a roof off to the left. No, don't kick Jeff. Huh? That just happened. Try to kick you out. I didn't do that. I wish there's a way to make these bigger. I guess as big as we can make it. But they do zoom in in the video. So, guys, this is a... Has anyone ever seen a blue slinky UFO in the chat? Guys, hit play. Let them see what I'm talking about. I may have muted it because they were cursing up a storm. And I had to credit the people, so... If you hit control, scroll on your keyboard. If you hit control and scroll up, you might be able to zoom in.
It literally just looks like a blue slinky. Were you able to, did you try control scroll? What's control scroll? Hold down the control key and scroll up with your mouse. Oh, Shape that. like that. Like that, yes. All right, so now we can play it again. Let them see it. The blue slinky. I'll just continue okay. playing it. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen anything like this? What the hell? Now, I have to tell you, one explanation I can think of is drones. I have seen drone fireworks shows because it kind of looks LED to me. But why would they program dro drones to move like a caterpillar? It's like bouncing and dancing? Or is it spinning? Maybe it's spinning and it just looks like it's bouncing and dancing. Yellow Sun says no. Noise Guru says I have. Not from another planet. Ryu says nope. Well, this isn't the impressive one. The impressive ones are coming up. We can go on. Okay, so, Cubed UFO Puzzles Pilots. Uh, this is in 2020, Columbia, the captain, it's so fast I can't read it. Uh, showing his altimeter and we can, flying around at 30,000 feet, they see a square cube flying in the sky. It's there, but... You see that black square movement across the screen? Uh oh, Jeff just crashed. Guys, Jeff just crashed on us. But I just got a uh, push a button video. So if I get kicked out, I'll be right back. Can you guys hear me okay? Um, I'm trying to forward this to Jeff and it's not letting me, so I guess I have to save it. I'll save. Uh, pushing bad language is okay this late in the game. It's like the first seven minutes that you can't do it. So, I'm not worried about it. It's all good. I'm going to send the video to Jeff, and hopefully when he comes back, he can show it. Thank you, Ryu. Oh, thank you, Barbara. It does not fight. <laughs> what happened to Barbara? Oh, no. Oh, I'm glad you're doing better, Barbara. That sounds awful. Awesome. Thank you, Carrie. Oh, I didn't mean to hide your comment. What just happened? Oh, there it's back. Okay, good. Whew, scared me. That's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I'm trying to think what I can talk to you about right now. Five by five, I'm confused pushing help. Isn't that a John Mayer song? Or is that three by five? It's three by five. I'm trying to think if there's anything I want to talk to you guys about. But I don't have to show anything. Hopefully Jeff will be back soon. And uh, you know what? Really quickly, 
I'm going to send a link to Brian Stavely in case he wants to jump. Can you guys hear me now? Testing, one, two, three. Jeff is back. Hear me, Jeff? Yeah. Super Mario, I have a whole presentation on that. It is connected to the Mandela Effect. I will be covering it tonight. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Because it said... StreamYard said it lost connection with my microphone. That's why I was asking if you could hear me again. Oh, okay. All right. So, back to the... Oh, really quickly. Can you show pushing buttons? I sent you a video. Can you show pushing buttons UFO in Messenger? Yeah, hold on. Thank you. Because it might be related to one of the ones I'm going to be showing tonight. It's going to take a minute or two. Because it kicked me off Facebook, too. Okay. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. That's the video you sent me? Yes. And Pushin's like, there might be a lot of cursing. I'm like, it's okay. It's seven, after seven minutes, YouTube doesn't care. Pushin says, when I zoomed in, you could see that it was rectangular. Yeah. Weird. Okay, we're adding in. Full screen. Nice big window. Very bright blue. Should I play it? You should play it. I see a dot. So the star, the bat right there is the UFO. I definitely see the blue too. And it does look like a square. That is definitely not a plane. You would get a, a, a flashing like red or a white light with a plane. That looks like a flickering star, but it's not. Oh. What the fuck? It disappeared. 
Or is that it? That's it moving that way now. It's going that way now. That is crazy. Yeah. There's no sound, no nothing from it. Did you hear anything pushing when you were recording this? Oh, wow, just shot up. <laughs> it was high up. Nope, no sound. Have a great night, Red Storm. Thank night you for being storm. here. What the fuck? It disappeared. Is that it? That's it moving that way now. It's going that way now. Very cool video pushing. That is very cool. Great job. So everyone, that was pushing buttons video. Nice. Very nice. Thank you for sharing it with us. Thanks, pushing. All right, Jeff. Now we're going to get to the, uh, we already did the cube, but it crashed. I think they did a close-up of the cube at the end, so probably pull up the airplane one again. And remember to control scroll because that works wonderfully. The one that I had started already? Yes. All right. Hopefully this is the right one. Wait, did I unstar your comment? Star comment. There we go. Ah, uh, Super Mario says... Great video and camera work. All right. Oh, not that one. That's not the one. The next one. It's the one after this. The boulder after it? It was the airplane one. It has an airplane on the screen. Oh, okay. With the square UFO. I wanted to point out that it looks like something from um, Hellraiser. That's the one. All right. So if we hit play, now it's bigger on the screen. So again, it's February, it's February 2020. An Airbus A320 flying over Columbia. The captain sees something. They're at 30,000 feet. This is the History Channel. That's why I can't play the sound. I think they do a close-up of this. So it's like a black square just moving across the sky. And that's it. Break, and we were on a live picture from one of our Dallas Tower cams when I okay, saw something shooting across the sky. You want to read the bottom first. Gaslighting from the news. Do you think this is an airplane? <clears throat> that streaming cameras are this bad in 2024. There we go. Guy, but it happened so quickly. I couldn't identify what it was. You sure? Yeah. I mean, what what did you think that it could have been? Can now you were honestly you, you weren't you the said. only person. There were many people that that made this comment. I had some tweets about it. I had some emails about it. what did you think it was? At first, I'm like shooting star, but then it was too big to be a shooting star. So I said it was a comet. Then I went home, talked about it with my husband. He's like, it was a meteor, and yeah. I'm like, what was it? But I mean, it's it's interesting though how you went from zero to one hundred, where it was you know a comet That's or me, whatever Pete. it was. That's okay. me. Oh yes, it is. so you know, <laughs> honestly, Cynthia it wasn't the only person but i want you to take a look at this so what we did last night we went back and looked at the video and many people 
had some questions about it. And so, uh, yeah, Cynthia, right. I want you to know you were, and you can, and she, I know you're embarrassed to say you thought it was a UFO, but, but you know, I mean, there's, there's, Cynthia, there's people like you as well that thought the same thing last night. So here, Marty Morrison said this. Pete, what did I see in the sky over downtown from the WFA cameras on the newscast tonight? So Marty, Cynthia, and for everyone else, here's the answer. But first of all, let me take you back to last night. So last night at, here's the camera. This was at 1013 last night. Bank of America building. You see that right there? That was live on our air. This is the, the tape from our newscast last night at 1013. That's exactly what you saw. And yes, the question for many you, of you, including Cynthia, was it a UFO or a meteor? But what we did in the, the Channel 8 Weather Center throughout the day, this is how I spent my day once the rain ended. We did an in-depth investigation, uh -huh. okay? And the in-depth investigation Here's what it uncovered. We have multiple cameras here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Multiple, I think we have like five cameras in downtown Dallas. We looked at the other cameras. And we wanted to see, see that little dot right there? Watch this. We'll loop it through again. See it, how it's? So we knew it wasn't a meteor because they don't originate down on the ground. Uh -huh. And then take off. Then we looked at one of our other cameras. Here's our Fair Park camera looking at the city of Dallas. You see that right there? You see what this is? Cynthia, is this becoming a little more clear? <clears throat> as to what this is. Is that a plane? Yeah. That's what I said. We went on flight what? aware. What? And we looked it up and it was yes. <laughs> Southwest no Airlines way. Flight 63. That's it was going I from said. Love Field down to Hobby. That's what you saw last night. So we were trying to figure this out what? as well. But but here's, hey, Jeff, here's what this camera looked like. There. So we tried to figure out exactly what it was. So we went straight to the smartest guy we know. That's our chief engineer here at Channel 8. His name is Jeff Stevens. And I asked Jeff, I said, what Jeff, was this? Try this is what Jeff scroll. is. Blah, 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 blah. And about 15 <laughs> minutes later, my head was ready to explode. But really, what Jeff explained was, in, in simple layman's terms, which is what I understand best is, because this camera that you look at every night, it's a streaming camera. So it just can't keep up with the motion. So it just causes the light on the plane to oh. just smear. That's all yes, that it was. I don't believe okay. that. It just can't keep up with the motion. Mystery solved, Cynthia. I don't believe We were that. on Jeff, a live picture Jeff. from one of our Dallas Tower uh, cams when I. Are you able to control scroll more for that one scene where you see it, where he's pointing and saying it's smearing? I doubt it. Okay, because when I can, when I can used to be able to control scroll on my computer, I could zoom all the way in. That's why I was asking. I don't want to mess with it too much. Okay. All right. Go on to the next one, guys. I, I don't think, I, I don't know if that's an airplane or not, but if you go look at it close up, it looks like a meteor. That's what it looks like. And they're saying that it's smearing because of their streaming cameras in 2024. Which I find hard to believe. Jeff, you can go on the next one. All right, so this is the new type that I'm talking about. This is the new type of UFO for me. I want you to tell me in the chat if this is new for you too. Just a yes or a no. Go ahead, Jeff, play it. It's muted because they curse so much. They think it's a meteor because it looks like a meteor. And then it explodes. Except instead of the embers dying out, they stop at different positions in the air. And they go in different directions. And just hover and zigzag. Oh, wow. And disappear and move away. And the green dot, you see that green dot? We're going to see that multiple times. Because, guys, I have more videos of this. It's not just this one. There are other videos of this exact same thing happening in different places. You see them all over the sky? It's insane. Oh, my God. I know it's terrifying. Yeah. 
You see, and you see the words. You see why I muted it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're everywhere. Well, I may have found one of these things up close, guys. One of the videos you're going to see looks like just one of them. I'm trying to see. It doesn't tell you where this one is. But I will say, it doesn't look like Miami to me. That does not look like Miami with the trees and stuff. I mean, they're in the sky forever. They disappear, they reappear. Some go lower, some hover. They do formations in the sky. There's the, the triangle now. It was a square. When this one's over, I want you to go to the next one. Okay, this one's over. You can go to the next one. This one was Florida, 2024. You're going to see it from the beginning now. Go ahead, Jeff. This one may have sound. I don't know. So that's what they saw, the same people. They saw this before. It looks like a meteor coming straight down. And then, boom. Now watch this, guys. Layer one. They stop. It keeps falling. It splits again. And then they stop. Stop it. Oh, my God. It's an invasion. <laughs> what? Like what? Uh uh. And again, they start moving in different directions. Now, this is Florida. Okay? The next video you're going to see is also Florida. It's Miami. I don't know what part of Florida this is. Maybe Allen. Is there an Allen, Florida? Because Allen is in the... Uh, it's one of the hashtags. Michael, I have not been able to get to my email this week. I was so sick this week. I'm still not doing well. It's all the stress. My body can't handle stress. I literally have a, a stress... A disorder... Where my body cannot handle stress. And stress is high. Stress has been at an all-time high since Christmas. It's been bad. But this week was just bad too. You know, the first of the month. It's bad. So here we go, guys. Now we're in Miami. And, um... At the end of this video, to me, it looks like one of those things we just saw. So, yeah, hit, hit play. Now, this should have sound if you turn the volume up. You have the volume all the way down. No, I don't. Oh, weird. So she's seeing a light inside the clouds. And it looks like one of those things that came out of those meteors to me, but you're going to really see it when it's out of the clouds. I can't have that, Jehovah's Daughter Barbara. I'll lose my medication. I'm not allowed to have anything like that. To me, that looks like one of the things that came out of the meteor thing. That orange glow. 
the hovering. That looks just like one of those things that came out of the meteor to me. Can you please stop blocking it with your words, lady? It's like it's on fire. Yeah, because it came out of a meteor. I agree, Pushin. There's a tea. I might try the tea, but I got to take it to my doctor. That looks just like the things to me, guys. I swear. That looks like those things that came out of the meteor. And then it changes shape, and it, it leaps out, and I think it comes back. Maybe not. And that's where the video ends. Nope, it comes back. All right, so man skews, okay? What does that say at the top, Jeff? UFO man skews. What does it say? I can't see it. Skydiving using fireworks shocks Arizona residents. And they're, they're saying that what you're seeing with that meteorite exploding and those things hovering are skydivers with fireworks now please help me here if you have a firework in your hand it's going to explode in your hand by the way but second the flames could you know eat holes in your parachute it's the most ridiculous man skews i've ever heard in my life <laughs> and then the previous man skews we saw was that one that you were showing that I told you to take down, which we'll show after this. But as you're going to see, you're going to see a montage of more of these UFOs that are exploding and landing everywhere in all different places. And like the ones I just showed you, there was one that looked like it was in either the, the, the Midwest or the Northeast based on the trees and the landscaping. We had Florida, Miami, now Arizona. Go ahead, Jeff. Play the clip. Yeah, I'm not allowed to have anything. I asked my doctor if I could try any of those things, and he said your choice is your pain medication or that. You can't have both. So it, it won't work anyway. But I also take my pain medication to slow my nervous system down. It has off-label. It has a great benefit for my nervous system condition because I have hyperpots and it's a CNS depressant so it slows my nervous system down which takes a lot of symptoms away but as you can see here the same things happening in another location this comes from Emily McKay here's another one with them hovering in a different location What is that? The kid screams. Well, apparently it's it's people parachuting with fireworks in their hands. <laughs> I I had I had you know more respect for the New York Postal now. Their excuses that they come up with are so pathetic. It's like they don't even try. All right, so we're looping back now. So if you can, now go back to Messenger. I'm going to remove you from the stage. Go back to Messenger and pull up that article because that gives man excuse number one. So man excuse number two is that it was people parachuting, skydiving with fireworks in their hands, which is 
I can't with that excuse. <laughs> Me. But there was another excuse which you pulled up in the beginning of the the, the first link in the messenger. So what do you guys think in the chat? What are you thinking about these uh, meteors that explode in uh, levels and, and leave little meteorites just hovering in air, making formations, zigzagging, going in and out, up and down, all around? What are you thinking? Are these new for you? Have you seen these before in videos and things like that? I can't believe they had the nerve to say it was an airplane on that other one before. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, I can't <laughs> see it. And which means the audience probably couldn't see it well either. I could not see it well enough to know exactly what they were talking about. I just think that's a ridiculous excuse. Yeah, it is. It is if you knew what it looked like, but I don't think people could really see it. They're trying to keep you, you know, in the bullshit reality or you don't think outside the box it's the same old stuff you know like i said they were gaslighting i did yeah, say they were gaslighting so what did you want me to show next the link in the notes i sent you at the top the first link that you chose it was a nbc news article about the same thing we just watched. Got it. And it's going to give you another man's excuse. I mean, it's not really a man's excuse because it's not Mandela. A UFO excuse? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> UFO excuse. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, it disappeared. Yeah, here we go. So it says, it's, it's, I wanted to read the top, the title. Scroll up, please. There you go. Is it a meteor, a UFO? Nope, it's the Navy. So is, is it skydivers with fireworks in their hands, or is it the Navy, or is it actually a UFO? Now you can read the article. Go ahead, Jack. <laughs> Whoa, what is going on here? Pop-ups are annoying as hell. Okay. I know. San Diegans might have seen. I never heard that San Diegans. Oh, wait. Now it's San Diego, too. So, guys, we have reports of these specific type of meteor UFOs. Now, in Florida, specifically Miami, Florida, I don't know about the other location in Florida, somewhere in either not somewhere on the east coast based on the trees and terrain arizona and now san diego so go on all right san diegans might have seen some mysterious lights in the sky sunday night with some even taking to social media to speculate if it was a ufo or an unusual meteor shower as spectacular as that would have been, the lights over the sky were actually the U.S. Navy parachute team leapfrogs commuting to Snapdragon Stadium to cheer on the San Diego Wave FC during the National Women's Soccer League semifinal match. Yeah, who, who watches that? Come on. <laughs> the parachute team gave a heads up to the San Diego Sunday afternoon that they would be jumping into the game just before kickoff in a post on X, formerly known as Twitter. Looks like that's it. So, there's the video if you want to play it. Yeah. So, again, they're saying they were parachuting into that game. Of course, we have an ad from Olive Garden mm -hmm. who should be sponsoring this video for us showing their ad. Right. <laughs> <You're> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, so why, what's the excuse then for Florida 
another state somewhere else, and Arizona. One just flew straight up in the air. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, they look like parachuters to me. How about you guys? <laughs> I see parachuters 100%. <laughs> Oh, please. And, the, and falling at different rates. Kind of strange to me. So typical. All they do is lie. Because, you know, parachuters look like meteors before they split off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> now, maybe if they all landed completely charred. Okay. <laughs> No. There's no way they'd ever convince me that that was parachuters. Mm -hmm. But hey, there's morons who will believe it. So Push and Button says, the coolest UFO I ever saw was during the day. Flew right over my head at like 1,000 feet. Was going, I'd estimate, 3,000 miles per hour plus. Completely silent, silent, looked exactly like a scarab beetle. That is crazy. And uh, you hope his daughter is leaning towards Project Bloombeam, knowing they plan to have aliens arrive soon. All right, guys, now we're getting back to the folders, which we're almost done with. So you wait. Do you want to do your intermission? Yeah, let's do that first. Guys, we have an intermission intro to do. Mandela Effect song tonight. So excited. So here we go, guys. Jeff, you want to pull it up? It'll take a minute, but yeah. Oh, uh, so is your intro, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got to figure out where your intro is. I haven't played it in so long. <laughs> so guys, please excuse me if I hit the wrong one, but I think it's this one. That was the right one. And Jeff is ready. Oh, we will be right back. Oh. So dumb. Mandela effect, what have you done? Hey, Jeff, I'm going to interrupt your song and tell you to start over. You have to adjust the volume. It's all muffled. You're going to have to adjust the volume. Remember it was doing that muffly thing? It's doing it again. Oh, it is? Yeah, you got to adjust the volume and start over. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. So, guys, we'll be back right after the song. A Mandela Effect parody by Jack, by J.C. Goo, excuse me. Who the hell gives Scarecrow a joke? Who the hell gives Scarecrow a gun? So dumb, Mandela effect, what have you done? And that's just one. What do we have to do to 
improved reality has changed to you. Everyone's Mandela affected, but there's nothing wrong with a frame. And now the Monaco is missing on the Monopoly Man and Baron Steam Bears is now Baron Stay. Scarecrow's got a gun. Scarecrow's got a gun. Reality has come undone. No PCH now for ethnic Mayan. In this reality, now it's untrue. What company did he work with for you? Now it was American Family. A reality in his chain. Fruit of the loom had a corner cup, yeah. Now it has never been there, and we feel like we are going insane. The JFK assassination has changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now the six people in the car, and that's insane. Yeah, yeah, there were four. Reality, reality, reality has changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stan Proof got a gun. Scarecrow's got a gun. Reality has come undone. Many changes, and that's just one. Scarecrow's got a gun. Scarecrow's got a gun. So many changes, and that's just one. Why does the scarecrow have a gun? Who lays? down with the lamb it's not the lion now it's the wolf and we know that's wrong the bible's changing and so our song fruit loops and chick-fil-a spelled wrong scarecrow's got a gun very nice great job Okay. <laughs> yes, they are. I will say a lot of the um, Mandela effects are American, except for, you know, uh, the, the differences we see in, in Earth and uh, just the color of the sun. And there are like worldwide things as well. Um, I do believe that a lot of them are American because America is the entertainment hub of the world. Not that there isn't, you know, entertainment in other countries, but it's more common for people outside the United States to watch American movies and TV than it is the other way around. Yeah. Well, thank you, Carrie Skates. Harry Skates has been here the whole time. <laughs> no, I said thank you. Oh, thank you. I think you said hey. <laughs> well done, Jeff. I see it right there. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get into the Mandela effect. The Mandela. The, the rest of the Mandelas. I don't even know how many there are left. Because I didn't Not get many done because... Well, like I said, I have not been doing well. I haven't been doing well for a couple of weeks. I am doing my best here. Okay. Now this Any one question? I... Sorry, Sandy. No, you're fine. You're fine. Really great song. I don't... I. Don't think I can. I have to do it for my phone. Let me see. Jeff, do you want to read this one while I uh, go to my phone? Yeah. Ahead. Thank you. Hold on. 
All right, there's a comment whose name is not the same as I remember. I mentioned this on Shifty Sunday a couple weeks ago. Well, <laughs> and now I'm finally giving it a proper presentation. Please spell the name of the comment that passed by us in 1997. Hail slash B blank. So I'm going to tell you, we can say that it's Ba. I want you to spell Ba. How do you remember the comment spelled? Hail Ba. So Yehovah's daughter Barbara says, Hal Ba. No A. One P. Oh, you're very welcome, Carrie. I haven't seen a lot of people in a long time. I think uh, audiences come and go. They forget about you because they are subscribed to thousands of channels. And then one day they're like, oh, there's a recommendation. I haven't been there in a while. And then they come back. That's, that's just how it works with YouTube. Noise Guru, B-O-P, do 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 ops. <laughs> Hail bot, one word, push buttons, one P. Yes, and a lot of people fade away from the Mandela effect. Sad reality. No problem pushing, we'll be here. Anyone else? Jeff, what do you remember? I don't. <laughs> That's right, you don't remember this one. You're yeah. right. I wasn't paying attention to stuff like that back then. I got you. I was too busy working a ridiculous job where I was never home. I may, since there's only like one, one or two more folders, I may want to send you a couple of pictures and talk about something instead of making a whole presentation, if that's okay. Is that right with you? Since it's so kind of early for us. For us. Ah. <laughs> All right, we can go on. No one else is answering. Oh, hard to believe. Welcome. Hard to believe, said Tailbot. Welcome, hard to believe. Welcome to the wrench Club. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. You were talking about uh, Louis Vernon and Shirley one, right? Well, that and another one. We, we do need a presentation on that because you found so much extra stuff after I showed it to you. Well, then you want me to hold off on that one? Hold off on it till next time, yeah. All right, well, the other one is something that's insane that I will make a presentation on eventually, but it's going to take a while, so I'd rather just show some images and see what people say before someone else brings it up. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm All right. So um, you want to continue with this one, and I'll do the next one? Oh, yeah. you didn't read it. Oh, you I didn't. didn't read it. No. <laughs> All right. The comment has always been hail, Bob. This looks so <laughs> wrong to me. In my past, Bob only had one P. Hail, Bob, one P. Do you have the current memory of Bob with two P's, or do you share my memory? It never had two P's, says you have his daughter. I agree. Without even knowing it, I would say that, because it mm -hmm. looks stupid. Oh, Super Mario Bros. has just said the new Quantum Leap is just canceled. Of course. Mm -hmm. Anything that might be mildly interesting, they don't want to keep on the air. Not that I've seen it. All right. There are a surprising amount of songs with Hail Bop with one P in the title. Ah, uh, yes. So there's one. Who could forget the tractors? <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you zoom in on the Arista? Because we covered this before, but it's different from the last time I covered it. I don't remember the I and the T bending like that. We did cover the A and the R, like everything being connected, but the I and the T weren't bending. That's so weird to me. I just wanted to share that. So here's some residue for the way that most people remember it. These are all the music ones. Uh, Carrie Skate says HIPAA Act took a P away as well. You're right. So this is a pattern. 
Mm -hmm. Thank you for pointing that out. Another change that drives me nuts. They took the privacy out of it. Of course they did. Mm -hmm. So this is interesting if you read the bottom first. And residue is everywhere, including sites like the University of Kentucky, who you'd think would get the spelling correct. Yeah. yeah. So it says Comet Hell Bop on the photo, but they wrote Comet Hell Bop 1P under the photo. So that's that one. Then we got. So current reality. Two P's. Looks ridiculous as heck. We're done. So, so, so. So, so ridiculous. I've only seen bop with two, lab, two P's when it's bopper. Like the big bopper. Mm-hmm. So here's a ton of residue for you guys. Memes, coins. It's not on the coin. They're selling the coin with the correct spelling, but on the coin it's got two P's. So much residue. Hell, ba, do be da, ba, do wa. <laughs> man, I got man that song now. I hate that song. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I was gonna do a parody of that, but I hate it so much I don't want to. <laughs> Even though I just kind of did. <laughs> so yeah, here's more residue. There's a ton of residue. There's so much residue, it's insane. <laughs> So much residue. We can just keep going through it. There's just so much. All right, well, this one's good. This is actually like a diagram and everything. And also Michael Fontaine and Cubert's. Michael Fontaine? Michael Fontaine <laughs> in Shifty Sunday. <laughs> When I brought it up on Shifty Sunday, without even asking them to spell it, they wrote Hail Bop, but they remembered H-A-I-L. Mm. So I wanted to put it in there. Now this is interesting. This is a ski trail at, you zoomed in, I don't know the place, but they named it Hail Bop with one P. Southern Cross Ski Trail. So all the trails are like Milky Way Galaxy, Haley's Pomp, like Haley's Trail, Hail Bob with one P. Oh, the top one? That's even more amazing. It's a site dedicated to looking at the skies, and they still do not spell yeah, it. Yeah, you would think they'd get that right. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think, Mandela or not? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I've also never heard of a comet trail being referred to as hairiness. No, so the, what is that? <laughs> the blue part they're saying looks like hair. So like wavy hair, straight hair. I, I just want to point that out. I've never seen that before. It's weird. You want to reach a little, I guess. <laughs> Super Mario, are you here? Because the next presentation is what you're referring to in the chat. Here we go, guys. 
On April 5th, 2024, at 1021 a.m. Eastern, I was working on my iPad when my cable and arm started to shake. A half second later, my body and bed were shaking pretty violently. Then it stopped. We had a 4.8 magnitude earthquake. Not directly here, but close by. I immediately went to the USGS.gov website and confirmed that a 4.8 magnitude earthquake had hit northwestern New Jersey, which seemed really odd to me because I had only heard of one fault line in our area, the Erie Fault Line, which is nowhere near where that earthquake took place. Okay, Jeff. Question one, yes or no, have you ever heard of the Lake Erie fault line? So yes or no in the chat, have you ever heard of the Lake Erie fault line? No, for me. So, Yehovah's daughter Barbara says nope. Noise Guru says no. Hi, Wendy. Welcome. Wendy says no. Welcome, Wendy. Welcome to the uh, moderator club, Wendy. She's been wrenched. Sneaky Sneak egg sauce. Welcome to the moderator club. I was waiting for you to comment again. And Sneaky Egg Sauce says no. Well, I did a poll on my community page. 11% of people who voted did remember it. So I'm not alone there, even though I'm alone tonight. Go on, Jeff. There's another question. For those of you who have never paid attention to the topic or are not from... The rea my reality on this one. Ever Josh, welcome. I never got to thank you again last week. Thank you, Ever Josh. Um, but if you're not from my reality on this one, he also says never heard of it, and I've lived in Ohio all of my life. Well, it wouldn't be near Ohio. It, um, I'm drawing it here so you can see where it was. But hold up. Here's the crazy part. I learned of the Erie Fault Line at least a decade ago. It was a dormant fault line said to be overdue for an earthquake. I cannot find this fault line anywhere. It appears to have vanished from this version of Earth. That is what it looked like. It does not exist anymore. Does not exist. Gone. Yeah, Jess. Question number two. Why is the word you missing? Do you recall any major fault lines on the eastern half of the United States of America? Number one. You're going to answer with a number. One. No fault lines on the eastern half of the United States. Two, yes, Erie fault line. Three, yes, New Madrid fault line. Four, yes, East Coast fault line. Five, yes, Ramapo fault line system. Or six, yes, all of the above. Noise Guru is already coming in with the number one, no fault lines. So one through six, everyone. Please drop your numbers in the chat. Yes to New Madrid and East Coast for, for Barbara. Wow. Wendy is a three with New Madrid. Ever Josh is a three with New Madrid. 
You guys don't match my pole at all. I want to know where my pole people are. People answered the poll. Sneepy egg sauce is a four. Jeff, what do you remember? I'm not sure I remember any of them. Okay. So you're a one. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's 24 of you listening. All you got to do is drop a number in the chat. Come on, guys. Don't worry, Noise Guru. I'll be showing you everything. Don't worry. Should I go on? I guess, since no one else is giving me numbers. No, you're not an alien. Stop it. In my past, there was just the eerie fault line that I could no longer find any record of. Now there is the New Madrid Fault, which you can see in the middle. I don't know why I wrote east there. Uh, it's said to be as big as the San Andreas Fault, but today's earthquake came from Ramapo, which I've never heard of. Go ahead. The New Madrid is fascinating because it literally lines up with the path of the April 8th eclipse. Sagar Mandela Beck just did a video showing that Alabama had massive 7 to 8 magnitude earthquakes from this fault line in 1811. I, you guys don't find it strange? That this fault line lines up with the uh, path of the eclipse? No one? I think it's weird. Fault line I've never heard of following the path of the eclipse. Okay. The East Coast fault line and the Ramapo were never there either. They were never there for me. We never have earthquakes this strong. This is definitely a new earth ship for me. That's not all. Before you go further, the strongest earthquakes we had in my area were like 2.1, 1.7. Very weak earthquakes. We had a 4.8 because there's a fault line 50 miles from my house now. That was not there in my path. It's going. There are now little fault lines all over the USA that I have no memory of. Yes or no in the chat. Do you remember Manhattan having several small fault lines? Because it does now. Yes or no in the chat. Do you remember fault lines going through New York City, through Manhattan? Jeff? Do you remember this? No. Wendy says no. That's crazy. Can you zoom in on the area? So they can see, like, it's Central Park, Manhattan, the Bronx. Brooklyn. Wall, right through Wall Street. What? No way. The Bronx. So, uh. At all. No way. Harry says not sure. Ever Josh says no. Ryu says no. No, but I wouldn't have cared, says Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Ryu doesn't know. I understand that. I do not remember fault lines all throughout New York City. All right, go on. These are all the fault lines in the United States, everyone. Do you remember this many? I don't know which is more mind-blowing. Uh, the new fault lines to my reality or the missing eerie fault line that I learned about all those years ago. If anyone finds it, please let me know so I can update this presentation. A yes or no in the chat. Do you remember this many fault lines in the United States? It's 
Sneepy Egg Sauce is a no. Wendy is a no. Jeff, how about you? No. I mean, literally all of Nevada is a fault line. <laughs> it's just one big fault line. You have to wonder if many were man-made. I think that in the future, some of these will become dormant and be forgotten about or may never be learned about. I will tell you that a lot of these were found recently, which is shocking because how did they miss them before? Yes, there is a giant empty section in the middle. I didn't notice that too, Noy. Go on. One other thing. In 2011, a huge event hit Virginia. I felt it while napping in my bed in New Jersey. If you recall this event, what caused the shaking felt several states away? One, an earthquake. Two, an explosion in an underground mine. Or three, an earthquake triggered by the collapse of an underground mine. If you remember this event, which one caused it? One, two, or three? What do you remember? Yes, I think it's interesting that Tornado Alley and where the caldera is is missing fault lines. It does ever, Josh. It's just mixed with so many others that you don't see it. It's there. I swear it's there. Noise Guru says three sounds familiar. An earthquake triggered by the collapse of an underground mine. The other's daughter says none. Jeff, do you have any recollection of this event? No, not at all. You were in New Jersey that night. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. I mean, it was a big earthquake. <clears throat> yeah. Actually, I was at work and we felt it for a few seconds. So, yes. Well, what, what do you remember causing it? That? that I don't remember. I don't remember anything about it except that. Noise Guru says, not an underground mine, though, an underground military base. Interesting. Anyone else have any recollection of that day? Well, we can go on. Hey, Oiler Greg. Oiler Greg doesn't have a wrench. You need to fix that. Hey, Oiler Greg. Six. Oiler Greg does not remember that at all. Maybe it was an earthquake, because it, it is an earthquake now. But for some reason, I have a memory of it being caused by a mine, either an explosion or collapse. Maybe I'm mixing it up with another event? I don't know. Does anyone share my memory? Noise Guru shares it, kind of. Oh, that's awful. Four fusions in six months. I'm so sorry. Oh, my goodness. Just one is bad enough. Yeah. You can go on. Question number three. California is known for the deadliest fault line in the USA. That shouldn't that that should be no. Yeah, California is known to have the deadliest fault line in the USA. The four should not be there. What is the name of the deadliest fault line in California? Please write the name in the chat. And Jeff, what would you say it is? I wouldn't know. 
Okay, well, the chat says, Noise Guru says, San Andreas Fault. That's right. I've heard of that. I agree. We do all have different experiences with the effect. I agree, Oiler Craig. You have his daughter, Barbara, says San Andreas Fault. Wendy B says San Andreas Fault. Anyone else? You got 25 of you watching. Oiler Greg, San Andreas. Everyone believes San Andreas is the deadliest fault in California. We can go on. It was always the San Andreas for me, but not on this earth. In this reality, the Hayward fault line is the deadliest. I have never heard of the Hayward fault line. Have any of you ever heard of the Hayward fault line? Anyone from California? Because the Hayward fault line is the deadliest. 31% versus 21% of the San Andreas. Yeah, I never heard of that. I've heard of San Andreas, but never Hayward. Mm -hmm. Where Greg says, wow. Never heard of it, says Jehovah's Daughter Barbara. Now, I'm not saying that San Andreas isn't bad. I'm just saying the deadliest one is now the Hayward Fault, which I've never even heard of. Noise Guru says, yeah, because I live there. Brother Greg, never heard of it. Wendy, no, I am from California, but live in Alaska. And you have his daughter, Barbara, lived in Northern California two years, too. That's crazy. You've never heard of it. Go on. Says, what is the deadliest fault line in the U.S.? Scientists have studied the faults extensively and determined that Hayward is probably the most dangerous. No. Nope. Hey, Green Sleeves 20. Hey, Green Sleeves 20. I can't believe Green Sleeves doesn't have a wrench. We're fixing that too. <laughs> Everybody gets a wrench. You're like the Oprah of wrenches. Yes, I am. <laughs> if I trust you, you get a wrench. Because I never know who's going to show up. And, when I, and today I needed wrenches in the chat. Pushing buttons took care of some problems. How the burgeoning Walker Lane may split the American West. Has anyone ever heard of the Walker Lane Fault? Anyone? No. There's also a new contender that may be worse than both the San Andreas and Hayward Fault Lines. Have you ever heard of the Walker Lane Fault Line? So, you have his daughter Barbara says, no. Nope. Never heard of that, says Greensleeves20. Uh, I got to answer for Super Mario real quick. I know, you need to answer that. Ryu says nope, and Wendy says no. Well, Super Mario Brothers, yes, I do remember it. I have it on DVD, too. The Weird Al show from Saturday mornings. It was in 1997, very briefly on TV. It's funny, too. Uh, we can go on. Move over, San Andreas. There's an ominous new fault in town. In the Nevada desert near Reno, this fault line was discovered in 1988 and is responsible for Las Vegas earthquakes. I have never heard of the Walker Lane fault line. <laughs> Me either. There is also a suspected new tectonic plate spanning from Texas to Alabama and encompassing all of Louisiana. The plate's trajectory is southeast, away from the continent and into the Gulf. Has anyone ever heard that those states are part of a new tectonic plate? Because that's new to me.
You still there, Sandy? Oh, I was muted. Okay. Yes, suddenly appeared fault lines are the enemy. They were there's so many fault lines that I've never heard of before. And the Lake Erie one has disappeared. There's fault lines under Lake Erie, but the Erie fault line that went from Lake Erie down through New York towards New Jersey, gone. Gone. Wendy B says, no, this is a weird, weird reality. Stay here for a second, mm -hmm. Jeff. All right. Brother Greg says it makes sense because the current Earth is vastly different from our original planet. Smaller and less continental drift. It's the younger version of Earth. Yes, that's what I've been saying. We are on the newer version of Earth. Thank you, Euler Greg. So, look at all these fault lines. New, newly identified fault line in California could unleash monster earthquake. That's the Hayward one they're talking about. There's all these fault lines I just don't remember. Dead. U.S. officials warn nearly 75% of America is at risk of earthquakes. I'm sorry, I almost got a phone call. Um at risk of earthquakes after uncovering hundreds more fault lines. Is your area in the danger zone? This, the model includes, they just found 350 new fault lines in America. How did they miss 350 fault lines? I'll tell you how they missed them. Because we're on a new earth. That's how they missed 350 fault lines. The bottom says over a million Americans in the northeastern U.S. could be at risk of a tsunami due to a newly discovered fault line. Scientists have found an approximately 45-mile-long fracture in the earth that runs through British Columbia in Canada and escaped detection for thousands of years. Now, how does that happen? Say it with me, everyone. We are on a new version of Earth. It wasn't there. And now it is. Yeah. So now we're at risk for a tsunami. Earthquake in Las Vegas? Like, it's weird. I just showed you that they have fault, like, the entire state of Nevada is fault lines. The answer lies in Walker Lane. New fault parallel in San Andreas Fault discovered. That's the Hayward one. Look, wait, wait, wait. The burst of seismic activity in a state that many residents mistakenly believe is reliably stable. Again, I showed you that Nevada is literally all fault lines. Right, so why would they believe it's stable? Because new version of Earth. Yeah, exactly. So here is the Ramapo fault system, Ramapo fault line. Big earthquakes that happened in Philadelphia that I don't remember. All because of this fault line. It cuts across to Pittsburgh. Absolutely not. That's how I feel, Green Sleeves 20. This is insanity. I agree. San Andreas like fault found in the eastern US. Okay, so the article goes on to say. That the East Coast fault line that I've never heard of was discovered in 2010, 14 years ago. They missed it for thousands of years. They found it 14 years ago. <laughs> How? It's huge. Right. It's unbelievable. Anyway, is any of this a Mandela effect for you? 
new fault lines in East Coast San Andreas Fault, many fault lines all over USA, including Manhattan. What do you think about the new Madrid fault line following a near exact path of the eclipse? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And the next slide is the poll just to show you that people do remember the eerie fault that has disappeared. Thank you to the 11 of you who voted. You blew my mind that you remember eerie too. Can you zoom in on that poll? No one remembered anything except for no fault lines, 91%. An eerie fault line, 9%. All right, so that's the last folder, right? Yep. Okay, so now I'm going to send you some questions, some, something. But while I'm sending them, I want a question to be answered in the chat. Yes or no? Do you recall... Actually, I can't ask them that yet. Guys, I'm going to be showing you some things about the World Trade Center. I need to ask you some things about the World Trade Center. And Jeff, if I disappear, I will be back because i got to go to my photos and send them to you. All right. This is when I wish Brian Stabley was here. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. It takes like literally two to three minutes for my photo app to unfreeze when I open it. Too bad I don't have another Mandela song done. <laughs> we can play another song. Uh, yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> all right, well, and all that. Okay. Well, actually, this is the quick one I want to ask them. I want everyone in your mind to picture Trump going down the escalator. The photo of him going down the escalator. Yes or no? Do you remember Melania with him? And if yes, was she holding his hand, standing in front of him, or a few steps down, far away from him? And Jeff, if you wouldn't mind reading any answers in the ch in the chat while I send those pictures to you. That's how the Simpsons did it, says Ryu. No, Solo, says Carrie Skates. She was ahead of him, not holding his hand, says Jehovah's daughter Barbara. How far ahead of him? Like right at like a step down or like six steps down? Well, there, Greg can't remember the details of it. A couple steps for both Wendy and Jehovah's daughter. By himself, says Yellow Sun. Well, the ones that say by them by himself are going to be confused. Okay. All right. So for me, guys, she they were holding hands. She was like a step, maybe two below him. And he had one hand to free to wave, and she waved with the other hand, and they were holding hands for me. That's what I remember. Sandy, I didn't get the photos. Didn't work for some reason. I see him on my end. Try again. I did. It ain't coming up. I'll try bumping them. Did you get them now?
No. Something's wrong with your messenger. Can you close it and reopen it? Because I, I see him twice. Yeah, I keep doing that. It's not working. All right, I'm going to send it to uh, the Mandela Effect. You know what I'm saying? After Dark Group. Why can't I forward anything anymore? That's so weird. Something's Guys, I'm sorry. Something's not working right. I'm sending it to After Dark, Jeff. See if you can see it there. What the hell? No, it's not coming up. Did you restart Messenger? I tried. It's, it's not working. Oh, boy. It's asking me for a code or something. And I don't know. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think I could use Messenger for this anymore. Well, today. All right, so what we're, let's just show, like, one or two folders in Flickr you pick. And I'll just save this for next week. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, thank you, Jehovah's daughter, daughter Barbara. It says, I just saw a video on the Simpsons Eclipse Prediction. I was going to watch it until I saw Sandy was live. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. <laughs> yes, we are, Mr. Super Sidewinder. Last week, we had just started. <laughs> But now we're almost, we're winding down. We get, we're going to cover two rewinds before we head out. I've seen this one, so let's do this. Okie dokie then. Oh, wow, this is old. Yeah, go for it, Jeff. All right, Razzle Dazzle is a pattern. The crazy patterns were first used to cloak military vehicles from enemy radar. Then women's clothes used Razzle Dazzle to hide their body size and shape. In 2017, Scarab Performance, Dan, showed us Razzle Dazzle ships for the first time. 
Then in 2019, I discovered Razzle Dazzle wasn't just limited to ships or even bees. Black and white. Black and white, okay. <laughs> so we have tanks, airplanes, shoes, all sorts of stuff. There's some color ones. Yeah, this is crazy. All right, credit Teresa Lynch now, well, then in 2021. <laughs> Teresa Lynch found a modern use for Razzle Dazzle, which led me to find even more modern Razzle Dazzle trends. Now, some young people today are applying a modern twist of Razzle Dazzle to their faces using hair extensions, beads, gemstones, and makeup that Razzle Dazzle their face to prevent AI detection. It is so creepy looking. It is. Does anyone remember this? Does it, has anyone ever seen this? <laughs> it gets weirder. In a sec. I want to know what these people have done that they need to they need to hide themselves from AI detection. Yeah. <laughs> With some of them, I don't think it's helping. I think maybe a paper bag or something would be better. <laughs> <laughs> Noise Guru says, that's why all the kids are getting face tattoos. At least you can wipe this stuff off. <laughs> Welcome, CS616X. I'm just going to call you CS, if you don't mind. Welcome, CS. It is a carnival theme. I'm, I'm with you on that. <laughs> but it's going to get weirder. While researching this, I came across another form of razzle-dazzle being used today. Accessories. From masks to LED goggles, people today are willing to try anything to protect their privacy. And these innovations really seem to work. Welcome to the uh, Wrench Club CS. This is so weird, I can't. Yeah. Hologram faces, come on. But this, this is creepy. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Have you heard of these new uses for Razzle Dazzle before? <clears throat> Seen any of these trends in use? We sure haven't. And while it's probably not an ME, we thought it was worth sharing. I don't understand why putting your face all over a hood is going to hide your face from AI. Yeah, how does that make any sense? I don't know. I mean, well, well, there are definitely faces that need to be hidden. I mean, it's just ridiculous. This came before face masks, Jehovah's Daughter. This was first. <laughs> All right. Why don't you pick an actual mandala this time? Like, look at it first. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like an old school, an old school one that has graphics. You know what I'm saying? Like you did with that one. That's old school. We're going to give Jeff a minute and I'm going to do a shout out. As far back as I can see. 
so we have noise guru pushing buttons 62 Jehovah's daughter Barbara's here we have Super Mario Brothers 3 Carrie skates is here uh, scrolling 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 mustard seed of faith JC Goop was in the chat Brian Stavely was here, and so was all of his trolls. Uh, let's see. I'm still looking hard to believe is here. Mr. Super Sidewinder, Michael Fontaine, Wendy B, Snoopy Egg Sauce, Ever Josh 08. I'm scrolling, guys. I got Wheeler Greg in the chat. Did I, I said 1DB, right? I yeah. Did. Green Sleeves 20. Just scrolling down. Same names over and over. If I didn't say your name, Yellow Sun is in the chat. Ryu Ganyu's in the chat. If I didn't say your name, throw it at the bottom, guys. I know Splatter420 was here earlier. CS616X. There's one that I haven't seen that I want to show. It's a movie I really like, and I'm curious what the change is here. Or if there's any for me. Okie dokie. I mean, we can do another one if you want. I'm not in any rush. It's up to you. I think this should be the last one because I do have to get to bed. Okay. That's all I can see in the chat, guys. If I missed you, I'm sorry. It's because it cuts off after a certain amount of time. There we go. Oh, a lot of people weren't affected by this one. Maybe do a different one. I want to see it, though. I don't really want to end on this one, though. Okay, we'll do one after. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, Dad. All right, 1989 comedy starring actors Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor. Blank, no evil, blank, no evil. What do you remember? I said you splatter. Hi. I did say you. I said you were here earlier. I got gotcha. you. All right, guys. The, the name of the movie. You're, we're looking for the order of it. What do you remember, Jeff? See no evil, hear no evil. And that is what the chat remembers. Oiler Greg says see and hear. Brian Gannon says see and hear. Hear and see for pushing buttons. Uh-oh, hold on. Okay, sorry. Um, hard to believe is see and hear. Yellow sun is see and hear. See no evil, hear no evil is green sleeves. See no evil... Heart no evil, do no evil, says you have a daughter's Barbara. See no and hear no for you ever, Josh. Hey, Dano, we're going to do one more. It's okay. See no evil, hear no evil. Hear not heart, says you have a daughter's Barbara. See and hear for Wendy. All right. I'm with pushing buttons. I remember hear no evil, see no evil. Which order do you remember the three wise monkeys having so when you see the monkeys what order do you remember it so you have see hear and speak which what order do you remember rise says see hear speak the missing is speak
see hear do said barbara i have hiccups guys i'm sorry see hear speaks as green sleeves see hear speaks as yellow sun with hiccup in between i'm just going to show them on the screen because i'm hiccuping like cra crazy i'm sorry <laughs> oh my gosh I tried drinking something with sugar <laughs> Mark DeBlee says, see, hear, and speak. Noise Guru says, hear, see, and speak. Dano says, see, hear, and speak. All right, so Noise Guru and Push and Buttons are from my reality on this one. You can go on. The title of this movie was Hear No Evil, See No Evil in My Past. It was. The order of the saying has changed as well, which originates from carvings at Tasho Gu Shinto Shrine in Nikko, Japan. Officially, it's see, hear, speak, which is very strange because the carvings, the saying is based on, <clears throat> it's clearly hear, speak, and see. That's what I remember here. Oh, I don't remember speak, though. I remember hear, see, and speak. But hear is first, and that is what mm -hmm. I remember. So the residue is there pushing. Hey, Rick Sanchez, welcome. Hey, Rick Sanchez. Uh, I'm about to talk about that right now, Rick Sanchez. You have to read this part. The ancient Japanese proverb, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, was popularized in the 17th century. Do we see if there's four monkeys? Best movie ever, hear no evil, see no evil. Uncut. That's what I remember. It was a funny movie. Go on. Hear no evil, see mm -hmm. no evil. What is the true meaning of hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil? No, I'm starting to question, which I remember. Well, then I'm glad we showed this. Yeah. <laughs> it could have been here first. It could have been. And I might have taken an update. More residue for here being first. So here's the three monkeys, and I bet it's I don't know why we have here speak, see, but a lot of them are there's so this is red. I guess I put it in red because it's here speak, see, in the top right. So current reality is see. Oh, it's all they're all mixed up. Top left is see, speak, hear. Um, we have see, hear, speak, see, speak, hear. They're all mixed up. Now here's residue of hear, see, speak that I remember. Except for the bottom left, which is speak, see, hear, it's backwards. Hear no, speak no. Hear no, see no, speak no evil. I should have blocked that out, huh? <laughs> uh huh. Probably should have blocked that out. Um, we can go on. That's it. Okay, good. There is a fourth one, do no evil. You're absolutely correct, Rick Sanchez. Yeah. There is a second part to this presentation that we did later on when we saw the fourth one, which was in there, so I thought we mentioned it, but I guess we didn't until later. All right, pick a different one, one that you think more people would uh, be affected by. 
Time frame is good though. So ones we haven't covered in a very long time. Mm -hmm. We just go through these so fast. So guys, this is the last one for the night. We're going to start winding down. But hopefully this is one you either completely forgot about or you've never seen. Super Mario Brothers 3, did I say your name? I think I did. Pretty sure I did. Just in case, Super Mario did. Brothers 3 is here. I'm trying to find something that I think is really good here. Just don't pick a music one because I would like one. The last two shows, I'm not going to make a single cent on because of music. Oh, and guys, I apologize for the last video. I don't know what YouTube did. They, like, shoved ads every five seconds. I don't know what they did. I didn't do that. YouTube did that. I turn monetization on in YouTube Studio online instead of like the app. And that's what YouTube did. I don't know why it's different, but I'm going to use the studio from now on the app, not the website. Because I don't want you guys in a live stream delayed because you're stuck watching an ad that you can't skip. That's so messed up. It is. I do have an announcement to make. I was invited to be an affiliate, like with an affiliate code, where I would make a commission off everyone who used the link for the, the app I use to make videos. So I may start putting that in the description if anyone's interested in making videos, video editing. It's not there yet, so I don't have to say that there's an affiliate link yet. I'm just saying, I may put it in there because I do love the video editing app. Absolutely. And I think it's the easiest one to use. It's the best to use. So I may drop it in there. I mean, I think it's kind of an honor that they're willing to give affiliate codes to someone who only has a thousand subscribers. That's kind of mind blowing to me. I didn't even ask. They invited me. <laughs> it's blowing my mind. So if you see an affiliate link, that's what it's for. It's, a, it's an app called Power Director. And uh, that's, I just wanted to share that. I thought it was neat that I was asked to be an affiliate. Still waiting for you to put something. You still deciding? Yeah. I did not know that, Rick, but I also didn't know which direction it was rotating. Wait, don't we rotate anti-clockwise? Of course, assuming the Earth is round. Don't we rotate? Because we're moving east. That's counterclockwise, right? Yeah. Oh, no, uh, I'm just saying the order is different from what I remember. I remember hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. And now there is a fourth monkey, do no evil. But there's no consistency anymore. You can find them in any order now.
Thank you, Pushin. I, I know. I agree. I know. I'm starting to think that too, Wendy B. What's that? Uh, Wendy says, I don't think we live on a globe. They're saying I some planets know. are egg shaped now. <laughs> egg shaped planets. The CIA says the Earth is geodesic. Interesting. No egg either, I agree. <laughs> says Wendy. I know there's a lot to go through. That's what's taken Jeff so long, everyone. There's a lot to go through. A lot to choose from. I don't even know what toroidal shape is. I'd have to look that one up, Jehovah's Daughter. Question in the chat, yes or no? While, while Jeff's picking. Does anyone remember the Jessica Simpson and, and Nick Lachey variety show? Yes or no in the chat. I remember, remember a reality show. No, no, no. Not the reality show. A variety show. With dance choreographed, dance performances, comedy skits, recorded comedy skits, live skits, guest stars including Mr. T, Jewel. Um, I don't remember the other guest star. Does anyone remember that? Super Mario Brothers says yes. So does CS six one six X. You have his daughter as a note. Noise Guru says who? <laughs> Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey. They used to be married back in the day, and that was not supposed to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy is a no. Pushing buttons is a no. <laughs> ah, thank you. Donut shape, but not exactly. I appreciate that. Splatter is a no. Well, maybe I'll show it to you next week. We have another presentation that's not a Mandela. Just it's something not? weird. I don't think so. I think this is just the weird stuff. I picked it because I haven't seen it and I was curious. It's just weird stuff. It's not Mandela, but it's fine. Well, that's to be determined. It could be. All right, where am I? These whoppers did not exist in my past. Has anyone ever heard of the angriest whopper? With hot sauce. With a red <laughs> bun. What say, Jeff? I haven't heard of it. I have not heard of this either. Noise Guru and Splatter both say yes. Wendy's laughing and saying no. See yes, says yes. I'm not sure if it arrived here. It probably didn't, right? It was okay. It wasn't hot at all, says Noise Guru. Oh, we can go on. There's more. Super Mario Brothers is letting us know the Jessica and Nick Variety Show aired on ABC. Pushing buttons says nice whoppers. Nope. I didn't know whoppers could be angry. Well, they can, they can also be dead. We need to move on. 
<laughs> oh my ghost God. Whopper with cheese. Anyone remember the Ghost Whopper with cheese? Limited that looks, edition. Huh? That looks weird. It does. I'm wondering why it looks white in the promo, but it looks glow in the dark in real life. Mm hmm. I wouldn't eat Bennett. Wouldn't eat a Whopper anyway, but I don't remember that. So Yellow Sun says no. Always grew again is a yes. What is with the devil horns appearing on everything? I know, right? Ghost Whopper, not familiar, says Ryu. Wendy is a no. The bun was undercooked, says Noiguru. It almost looks like it's ready to be spoiled or something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all they had to do is add white food coloring to the bread, though. Sounds yummy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Okay, this is the Angry Whopper, but this is Angry Birds Whopper. Does anyone remember an Angry Whopper, Angry Birds Whopper? And check out the E. <laughs> What's going on with that E? Can you zoom in? What the hell? Yeah. Well, now I'm glad I chose this one because that's messed up. What the hell is that? Pushing button says yes. Oh, well. It's not even it close to an E. Ridiculous. So weird, no. Yep, still no heat, says Noise Guru. I like Mr. Super Sidewinder's comment, have it whose way. <laughs> I didn't see that where. Oh, there it is. The Nightmare. Nightmare Whopper. It was mentioned in the chat. Uh, I've never seen it before. Maybe these just weren't in my markets. I don't know, but this is why I call it the Dead Whopper, because it's a Halloween Whopper. Who would want to eat that? Apparently, the people who have it in their hands. That's disgusting, right? <laughs> That's. Ugh. Ryu said, there it is. <clears throat> that ugly thing. <clears throat> The Halloween Whopper with a black bun and a red bun. I don't know if that's the uh, the angry Whopper at the same time. No. I'm not sure. Why? <laughs> no, thanks. Have a little mold with your Whopper. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. No thanks, it's pushing. Never heard of that one, says Ryu. See what I mean? Like that still wasn't a Mandela, it was just first. Yeah, you know, I mean, it could have been not in someone's reality. I know it wasn't in mine. Yeah, they weren't in mine either, but it wasn't like one where I ask a question and people answer. Like, I was trying to get a, a Mandela effect, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you couldn't pay me to eat that crap, says you have his daughter Barbara. <laughs> Not in mine, says Wendy.
Ew. No scare is asking, have you seen the new vid where a tapeworm falls out of a guy's walker? Oh no. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Scroll up, see if I missed anything. A ghost monster whopper. <laughs> Pac Man. Good one pushing. It almost looks like a squished face. Here's a name change I didn't know about. That's a Mandela. <clears throat> Let's go with that. All right, this is the last one for the night. <laughs> All right, guys. I think it's a spelling change. Yeah, and to me, it's pretty big. So, actress and singer Eliza Minnelli, please spell her last name in the chat, everyone. How do you remember Eliza Minnelli's name spelled? Okay, I have Green Sleeves 20 with M-I-N-E-L-L-I. -L -L -I. Jehovah's Daughter Barbara, M-I-N-E-L-L-I. -L -L -I. Mr. Super Sidewinder, M-I-N-N-E-L-L-I. -L -L -I. I'm just going to say N's. Dunno is one N. Noise Guru is two ends. It's okay, Ryu. It's all right. Um, her mother played Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Judy Garland. Uh, Wendy is two ends, and Pushing Buttons is one end. What do you remember, Jeff? One end. Hmm. Well, let's show the people what it is. So half the chat can be upset. She really does look like her mother in the face there, the eyes especially. Yeah, she does. She looks like her mother there. I do not remember N N L L. It was just that, one N for me. That is so wrong for me. No friggin' way. I agree. Here's some residue. That's what it was. <laughs> Mr. Super Sidewinder says, I win. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a ton of residue of one end, like we remember. I know it was one in. I do too. I remember that's how it was spelled out in the credits in Arthur, which now obviously it wouldn't be. But I remember that. There's Robert De Niro, the new way that I don't like. Yeah. Mr. Super Sidewinder says I questioned I questioned the double ends. Yeah, there weren't two. Yeah, that looks right. A lot of extra letters getting added. 
from the Mandela effect to things and names and everything. Yes. So yeah, this is there, a pretty big one for me. <laughs> so there it is in a newspaper or magazine. I can't tell what it's in. I don't know if you can zoom in on it. It has one end like I remember. Yeah. That's what I remember. And it still has De Niro's name wrong. There's another, uh, this is an album. Hey, Damien. Hey, Damien. Uh, Damien, I did a whole presentation on that about an hour ago. If you want to rewind. <clears throat> It is interesting because we have a new fault line that was never there in my past, the Ramapo fault line system. That's where it happened. I talk all about fault lines that never existed for me. Hey, Sandy, do you want to end with that song again this time? Yeah, well, I'd play the song and then the outro, but yeah. You can play your song again. Came out better than I thought, actually. So, uh, guys, again, please share the GoFundMe because the landlord is breathing down my neck. And until Joey finds another job, we are screwed. And please pray Joey finds another job soon. He is putting in so many applications. So many applications. By foot, online. Anything he can do, nothing's coming up. So please pray he finds something soon. And if you haven't already, or if you have a new place you can share it, please share that GoFundMe. The more eyes that see it, the better. And uh, that's about it for us tonight. I'll see you tomorrow on Shifty Sunday. And uh, Jeff is going to, before we get to the actual outro and say goodnight, Jeff's going to play his new Mandela Effect parody song. So stay tuned for that. We'll say goodnight, and then we'll be out. Go ahead, Jeff. Good night, everybody. I'm going to say goodnight after the song. Okay. Because I'm going to do the outro, too. So. Who the hell gives Gabriel a who the hell gave Kepro a gun? So dumb. Mandela effect, what have you done? Uh, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What is that fire? Can't got a gun in the wizard of a Reality has come undone. Many changes, and that's just one. What do we have to do to prove reality has changed to you? Everyone's Mandela affected, but there's nothing wrong with our frame. And now the Monaco is missing on the Monopoly Man, and Baron Steam Bears is now Baron Stay. Scarecrow's got a gun. Scarecrow's got a gun. Reality has come undone. No PCH now for ethnic Mayan. In this reality, now it's untrue. What company did he work with for you? Now it was American Family. A reality, it has changed. 
fruit of the loom had a corner cup. Yeah, now it has never been there, and we feel like we are going and saying. Even the JFK assassination has changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now the six people in the car and that's insane yeah yeah there were four reality 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 yes scarecrow's got a gun scarecrow's got a gun reality has come undone Man, it changes, and that's just one. Scarecrow's got a gun. Scarecrow's got a gun. So many changes, and that's just one. Why does the scarecrow have a gun? Who lays down with the lamb? It's not the lion. Now it's the wolf, and we know that's wrong. The Bible's changing, and so are some. Fruit loops and chick fil a spelled wrong. Scarecrow's got a gun. Very nice. Um, is it still playing? I can't hear it. No, it's done. Oh, okay. Pushing buttons says killer song, Jeff. Um, Thanks, Pushing. And Yellow Sun's good one, Jeff. Good night, guys. Listen, um, I think. Thanks, Yellow Sun. I, 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 I think Ebro is not having a show this week. Something tells me they were celebrating Easter dinner this week. He did say that, yeah. Show. He did. There is no show this week unless they changed their mind. I don't believe there's a show this week, so I'm very sorry. I will not see you on Shift and Sunday tomorrow night. So, uh, and I would do I would do something, uh, but I'm getting to the end of the free time that StreamYard gives you for the month. So, who knows? Maybe maybe we'll do something. I don't know. But as of right now, there is no show for tomorrow night. So, like I said, always have the bell click so that if we do go live, you know. And um, thank you again to Jeff for playing that. Thank you again for Christopher McGarvey for being on the show tonight. And we will definitely see you next week. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Thank you for being here, everyone. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody. Smash the two, smash the two, smash the two, smash the two. Turn the strap off, 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 turn it off. Why must we watch friends? 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 I've seen this show about a million times. Not even funny when I'm drunk or high. Why must we watch friends? 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 I'm telling you now for the hundredth time. To change the channel, this show is a crime. Why must we watch friends? 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 That laugh track is so annoying to me. 
They wouldn't need it if the show was funny. Why must we watch Friends? 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 There's so much better ways to spend my day. Then watch TV sing down and catch so smelly. Why must we watch Friends? 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 Why must we watch Friends?